Welcome back to Dungeon Master's Corner. Today, we deep dive into how far a player is willing to go to redeem a villain. It's me. I'm, I'm the player. Welcome to another DM Corner. I'm your host, Nicole, and with me today is... Brian! So, when it gets to spooky season, I always love to pull spooky one-shots. And in this case, I pulled The Haunt from the DM's Guild by Phil Beckwith, and we'll link this module in our description. But also, Warner, there may be, warning, there may be some spoilers about the module from our discussion. There are definitely going to be spoilers. A few, now, possibly. Now, how many times have we run this one, to be fair? Oh, gosh, like two or three? I think three. We've run it a couple times. I remember being like three different characters doing this. I, I was a kobold scout. I was something else. And then I was the character from today's story. Who who were you in today's story, by the way? Oh, well, I am Sooty. I am a tabaxi cleric. Uh, I am a grave cleric. And I am a gray tabby. And I... I'm very easily distracted by shiny things. <laughs> Which, you know, works so well in a haunted little manner. So our it was this was our Monday group running this. Just a little one-off while we were waiting for Andrew to return to run Fandalen. And it was spooky season, so why not? They were basically tasked to go find out what the fuck is up with Monthorous Manor. So, so we head up to that manor, and after taking, what, like 15 minutes trying to get the damn door open? Mm hmm. I, fi I think I finally knocked. Yeah, you knocked, and you also spotted a pair of, like, little crystal blue eyes just watching you all from the from the window. Oh, yes, there's. That I remember. There's someone inside. And that's why you knocked. That's why I and knocked. And got lit rude. in. Yeah, it'd be rude if we And didn't. locked. Yeah, and got locked in, as classic haunted house tropes go. So they start going through, battling some horrible, horrible things. It it was a rough go, to be completely frank with you. Like there was a like a zombie beholder, I think. That was at the pool. Yeah, that was. Didn't have any signs <laughs> up about that, did you, lifeguard? Nope. Nope. Got a magical flaming got to... sword out of that, though. You did. Check the but water. It to... It's all... A pro gamer tip. Always check behind the waterfall or in the pool. There's something good there. You just might have to fight something horrifying first. Eh. But this was all on the ground floor. So it got to a point where they were exhausted. And just wanted to rest for a little bit after getting locked in and almost gassed by something, by a puzzle in the basement. It's a really cool, fun little puzzle and a little tricky, but if your players are anything like mine, they'll figure it out, especially when their lives are on the line. I think I knew what the answer was, but because I'd played it before, I played dumb, so. Yeah. I think you were also locked on the outside, possibly. Because I think it was... Tom's character and maybe was Mike? Might have been Mike's character. I think they got locked in. Ah. Uh, and we're figuring it out. I just remember being useless. But they were a little bit beaten and decided to take a rest before proceeding to the horrors upstairs. And you were taking watch. Yep. Yep. Nothing nothing gets by Sooty. So when the haunted doll who we now call Dolly, because she didn't have a name, you know, just decided to come and pay a little visit and try to spook him a little bit. Just standing at the top of the stairs, looking down at us. And there's Sooty mm -hmm. on guard, staring back. And I'm like, Sooty's an idiot. Like, there's just a <laughs> doll staring at him. So I just start telling knock-knock jokes to the doll. She talks like a child. She's our host, technically. I recognize the eyes, I think it was. She's mm -hmm. the one who let us in, so 
She must be nice, right? Totally. And not there to kill you horribly. Not at all. So she was amused by the knock-knock jokes because what adventurer in their right mind starts telling a possessed doll knock-knock jokes? <laughs> so she gets to this point of, hmm, maybe I won't kill him. I'll just kill everyone else. Okay. Leaves, goes about her business, shows up a few more times while they try to go through the module. And then it gets to the escaping point. After they defeat the big bad of the house. And I'm thinking, okay, now we're, we're done. Dolly did not die. She survived. Surprisingly. Well, not only did she survive... <laughs> She made a new friend. Yeah, yeah. We we killed the um the real evil of the house. Mm-hmm. I won't give that one away, because that's uh mm. That's a good twist. That's a spoiler right there. Yeah. So the house was crumbling down, and Sooty runs to Baxi speed and grabs the doll and starts running for the exit, shielding her from harm, confusing the fuck out of her. Like, again, I'm your enemy. Why are you helping me? You are innocent child trapped in doll body. I protect you. Sure. Sure, you can think that. Well, you say that, but... <laughs> but... We get back to town. I do save her. We get back to town and... I, I think she might have still been plotting our downfall. Oh, but, absolutely. But then I threw her one hell of a curveball. I made two purchases. <laughs> the first was a baby Bjorn, so I could carry her around in a baby Bjorn. Pretty sure she could levitate, but for some reason, I spent money on a baby Bjorn. The second was her old dress was getting pretty ratty. So I went to a store that sold baby clothes, and I bought her the prettiest dress I could find that was, like, brand new and clean that would fit her. You also got her, like, little mercenary, a little mercenary outfit. Did I? I forgot about that Yeah. <laughs> you got you got her, like, multiple <clears throat> changes of clothing. She got a wardrobe out of me, which, to be fair, it's baby clothing. Well, baby clothing's expensive. Doll clothing, much cheaper. Yeah. But I offered her, like, a, cl a set of clothing... <laughs> And for some reason, I became Papa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. And that became the saga of Sooty and Dolly. Which is actually still ongoing. We did leave off with the two of them and some other folk entering some Barovian village before, you know, that game night kind of got all wonky. Yeah. So we don't Totally know. weren't gonna go and visit the Benevientos from Resident Evil Village at all. No, no, not at all. Oh, that's what you based it off of. Right. I forgot about that one. Yep. Because Matt was streaming that, was... that for us. Yep. That's when he was streaming it for us. That's when it was hot. And also, let me tell you, the Resident Evil community with all the fucking maps is amazing. It's a Honestly, it's a DM godsend for that kind of thing. I believe it. I believe it. Kind of glad that one didn't go anywhere. Oh, you didn't want to see Vampire Mommy? No, no. Personally, not my thing. <laughs> not my thing. Although, Aww. interestingly enough, we did play this one again as other characters, and specifically, Matt played this one again has one very particular character. Oh yes, he played it as Enoch. He did, which means a different version of Dolly was canon in our Frost Maiden game. Now, Nicole Yes? Um I believe there's a sequel to The Haunt, is there not? There is. There's The Haunt 2. Electric not a very Google? creative title, but pretty much. <laughs> it takes place in a haunted hospital, actually. And, um, 
It's actually Dolly's origin story, which was super fun. Super fun, super creepy, and... Oh... I was not a very naive tabaxi in that one. I was a very angry orc werewolf who didn't want to be there anymore. And oh, to be fair, that orc werewolf actually did the same thing to a different NPC of yours that Sooty did to Dolly in a kind of a different way. But we can tell that story on the next one or an upcoming one. Sure. So we'll get to that one, maybe next. You'll hear it soon, either way. But I definitely do recommend picking up The Haunt and The Haunt 2. They are amazing. They're well written. The and Haunt for 2 us, needs actually, to be rebalanced. A little bit. It's absolutely a death sentence for six level characters. It, it says six level and some of the fights are way too easy and some of the fights are way too hard. So use your best DM judgment. But it is a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Balance or no balance. I, I meant personally rebalance it yourself for your table because it's a blast. It was great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Though I'm pretty sure we will not be running two as many times as we ran one. No. <laughs> <laughs> so is there anything that you learned as a DM from running The Haunt as many times as you have and getting to follow it up with The Haunt 2? Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> you know, the joke was right there and I didn't pick it up before. Um, well, first off, different parties tackle different things. Well, they tackle things differently, different orders, different personalities. Like in one universe, somebody adopted a spoiler. And in this one, somebody adopted a different character from it, which leads to very different happenings. And the whole fact that the one with Enoch, Dolly escaped, led to the haunt to actually being relevant and caused further problems. And continuity wise, that was just really fun to explore. I have to say, probably one of the best things ever was us choosing one shot characters that we played to do a campaign together because it gave you so much to work with to tie into stuff. It, it has been amazing to watch what you've done with that. <laughs> well, you also give me a lot to work with, which I wouldn't be able to do without you. Well, you're here to hear, folks. Make sure your DM provides and make sure your players provide. It's not on one person alone. But thank you for joining us for this DM's Corner. I have been Nicole. I have been Brian. And we hope you enjoyed. Bye! Bye! Take it away, outro guy! Thank you for joining us for another episode of Dungeon Master's Corner. If you'd like to support us, please visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash reliablychaotic to help fill out Dolly's wardrobe. Our girl deserves the very best. You can also drop us a line on Twitter at reliablychaotic. We'd love to hear from you.